Now, he has a niggling doubt, um, a niggling, there's something niggling him, and a niggling thing is usually a doubt or a fear, and it's a slight worry, a slight anxiety in your head. When something is niggling, it's a thought in your head which is causing you a bit of pain and a slight bit of worry. Not much, but a slight bit of pain and a slight bit of worry. Okay, so you very, it collocates very well with doubts and fears. I had a niggling doubt, I had a niggling fear, I had a niggling anxiety, something like that. But doubt and fear are best. Now, twice he uses the idiom, know something by heart. And so I want you all to know that idiom by heart because it's very, very common. And I think most of you have probably heard that one before. He also says, uh, talks about drawing a parallel between two things. Can't actually remember what the two things were that he drew a parallel between. But when you draw a parallel between two things, you make a comparison between two things and you see that they are similar, that there's some kind of similarity between two things. You draw a parallel between one thing and another thing and it means that there's a similarity or a connection, some kind of connection between the two things. And so you can draw a comparison between two things. You can even draw a distinction between two things, which is different because there you show how two things are not similar when you draw a distinction between two things. But when you draw a parallel between two things, you show they are similar. Now, he says that he never did algebra justice at school. When you don't do something justice, then you don't. He, did, he means that he didn't try hard enough and succeed in algebra, but he should have. And it's because he has a mathematical brain, an analytical brain, but he feels as though he never did algebra justice at school. He should have worked harder. He should have tried harder. But this expression, do something justice, is very common. We often say it about a picture or a photo. And if it doesn't do you justice, then it doesn't make you look as beautiful as you actually are. Perhaps it makes you look uglier than you actually are. So you might say something like, this house is much better than it looks. The photos that we saw yesterday, you know, didn't do it justice, meaning it didn't show how great the house was. It made it look worse than it actually was. Now, he talks about somebody scoring points off someone else, but he doesn't mention the points and you don't have to. Scoring off somebody. This is quite a rare phrasal verb and you get a lot of rare phrasal verbs when you read literature. And when you score points off somebody, you try to show that you are better than that person. It sounds quite immature to me, like something a child would do when they're trying to show that they're better than someone else. They're trying to score points. You know, there's no actual um, adult reason for doing this. It's quite childish to try and score points off somebody.